to Norfolk now, and the search going into a second night for whoever shot three people, all of it caught live on Facebook. This happened at 6 last night on Bainbridge Boulevard. A cell phone camera was rolling when the bullets began flying. And now a warning, you are about to see some of that video. Ten of your sites, Brandy Cummings has the latest developments tonight. Brandy. Tom, thousands have watched that video. We do want to warn you, it is disturbing. Although it may not show who's responsible for the crime, Norfolk police want anyone with information to help them solve it. The hour long video begins with three men sitting in a car listening to music. About five and a half minutes in, you hear at least 30 different gunshots. What a bad time in my gun. The phone drops, but you can hear people aiding the victims. Stay with me, nephew. I got you. The video remains airing live on Facebook even after the men are taken to the hospital. Norfolk police say two of the men are 27 years old, a third is 29. Video from Tuesday's crime scene shows bullet holes in the car. We don't know whether it was drug related or anything like that, but it was just something that was odd and unusual. For fear of retaliation, this man didn't want us to show his face or even give us his real name. But he did tell me he wasn't home when the shooting happened. His wife made a frantic call. She just called me and said somebody got shot and they were laying on the ground. The man says the victims didn't live in the area but are related to someone who does. Police haven't identified the men in the video, but the Facebook Live post was on a page belonging to a man named TJ Williams. This man says he doesn't like social media because what was put out there could lead to more violence. It causes more problems than it solves. And like I say, uh, it could be somebody seeing something. If they catch something, then it might be a part two to it, some more, some more escalation. Now, police have not arrested anyone for the shooting. They did tell us one of the victims is still in critical condition. The two others are doing better today, but they're all still in the hospital. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.